Welcome to the Small Business Show. My name is Swire from Garuda Promo. Today we have Kim O'Hara, a book host from A Story Inside. How are you doing, Kim? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. So uh, we connected via networking, I think like three, four years ago. And I was, mm -hmm. uh, you were the first book host that I've come in contact with. Uh, so for the viewer who are not familiar with a book coach, can you uh, tell us why you became a book coach and uh, why, um, how you're able to help your clients? Absolutely. I had been a movie producer and screenwriter for 20 years in the film business and knew I wanted to make a change. I'd always loved books and making books into movies. And I wanted to do something more in the coaching space. I wanted to help more people tell their story on a one-on-one -on -one -on -one basis and went to a women's event in this change, really not knowing what I was going to do. And someone said to me, oh, you should be a book coach. It was that easy. I went, well, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> yeah. And I had my first client in that room, actually, in that wow. moment before I even had a company name. So you could just go for your business at any time. Yeah, I'm amazed at how, you know, I, and amazed with the stories that how people start their own business. It's never straight and simple. It's always something happened or a change of event that prompt them to start their own business. You be in the moment and go after the demand and what's being called for for you. So who should write a book? Should everyone be writing a book? Or? Write a book. No. Um, people should write a book that are looking to elevate themselves in their field. They want to stand out as that, that estate attorney or that financial planner or someone who you know wants to stand out in the pack and they feel like they have a unique angle or a special expertise or just want to get their message out to a larger body of people than just the one-on-one -on -one networking or the videos or what other way. They also want to be speakers. They want to go out and have a speaking platform. And there's nothing better than saying, I'm an author. When you're going out to be a speaker, you'll be able to sell your books up from the stage or at the event, or at least prompt people to where you're available, either through your own web page or through Amazon or Ingram Sparks, or maybe even a bigger publisher. Mm, Those okay. are some of the like, more obvious reasons why you should write a book. But a, a lot of other people are at crossroads in their lives where they really, they when they write the book, they see, oh my God, I've done so much. I can't even believe I have experienced all this in life. And that informs them on making change and where they're going to go next. Like if you're 40, that's a huge change period. That's a transition period in your career and personally. And a lot of the people I work with go after different jobs, bigger jobs, or get promoted shortly after they write a book. Hmm. Okay. Can you tell us a couple of success story of how uh, your clients are able to benefit by writing a book? I'm sure, sure they learn more about their own industry and you know learn more about themselves by writing that book too, right? Oh, absolutely. I have a client. Her name is Nicole Vick, and she has just written a book called Pushing Through. Her launch date is June 1st, and she's been doing pre-sales of the book on Kindle. Mm -hmm. And she just posted, you know, she has 1,041 people liking her book on LinkedIn. Wow. And she was just like, wow. <laughs> like, uh -huh. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. And she's in a great position um, where she works anyway. But another you know, perk of that was she applied for um, a foundation, I believe, or a, a, you know, some kind of a community position and beat out all these other people because her cover letter was written with such passion and such authority about who she was. And she emailed me and said, that's because I spent so much time working on my book and I know who I am and I know how to write it clearly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that that will help you in the future too, because like there are still people, myself included, that are shy of talking about themselves. But once you have written it, so you you do it once, you do it good, and then you could just you know be who you are, you know, because it's written in a book already. It's just pieces, and and then the other uh, person I was going to say is uh, my client Rachel Brooks is coming out with her book next week, and it's called Chasing Perfection, mm -hmm. and she was a Ohio national bodybuilder who had wow. almost destroyed her body trying to perform in the circuit and not taking good care of herself, and she also mm -hmm. both of these clients are turning forty. This is their this oh, is wow. why I mentioned them. 
And she has created a podcast ever since that's gotten huge results. And she has an online training program. And, you know, she was in Ohio and she was like, I am not going to be held back by the fact that I'm not in New York or L.A. or Chicago. And mm -hmm. she has become a big fish in a little pond with all the ancillary work she's doing around the book and who she is. So it's very exciting. Wow. So you, you actually work with people from different industry, different background, too. So uh, and I know that you're not a ghostwriter. Like you don't have, they do have to actually so. write the book. No, I do, do that. I do ghostwrite as well. Okay. So yeah, very, um, very select projects. I'm on one book right now that I'm helping with. Um, and it's mainly because the person is not feeling that confident with technology and getting the book down in a proper way. And because I am a good writer, um, she's, I'm helping her. Okay. So it's ghostwriting adjacent. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I, I do see the benefit by, you know, positioning yourself the credibility that mm -hmm. you will gain from, from writing a book. Like you compare with two, uh, per, two, two people and, you know, one have written a book, one have, uh, you know, is doing what they do. Like you would, before meeting them, you would think that the person who have written a book should be higher than people who have not, uh, I wrote, uh, I wrote a uh, blogs, but then blogs is easier, but then, you know, to spend the time and after writing a book, that means that you know a lot more about the subject that you, you're talking about. Yeah. You've set yourself up to have talking points and key points and blog posts and vision copy and mission copy for a very long time, for a very long time. So, so the question that I have is, why not everyone is writing a book if you know obviously the opportunity is big and then you know once you've done it you have built credibility what what's been putting people off by writing a book the people that come to me that want to write a book have often been told by a lot of people hey you should write a book <laughs> and it builds in fervor right so like uh -huh. it, it starts to be like five people a year, right? And they're like, ah, oh, I can't take it anymore. I need to write a book. And then there's the people that just don't need to write a book. It's just not what they're called for in this lifetime. Okay. That's okay. You know, that's fine. Um, the people that are called to write a book that are scared are fearful that they're not writers, that that they don't understand why they why, why me? You know, there's a lot mm -hmm. of why me, you know, and then they surrender and they realize that they are in fact usually underneath the fear is this excitement and once they step into that excitement and they start getting into the process with me and they start to see how much they have to write about and what their life has been like they realize now they're in a dream now they're fulfilling a dream so they go from the fear of i'm not a writer and i'm not capable and why is this happening to me to oh i'm actually fulfilling a dream that i have that other people have just been pointing out to me before i could see it so that's generally what um i find that could hold them back mm -hmm. other people get held back by time oh i don't have the time i have yeah. no idea how i'm going to fit it into my schedule everyone i work with is a type a they all have crazy work hours, either lots of kids or 14 foundations they're on. They fly yeah. every week uh -huh. and they know I get them to write that book every single week. We figure out the time and I'm on it because I know it's a dream and they've come to me to help them do that dream. So time should not be an issue. Structure, I don't know how to write a book. Why would you know how to write a book if you've never written a book before and you're yeah. not a book coach? That's why they hire That's me. That's why you have a coach. I think sometimes it might be scary too if I can use that word properly. So you okay. are, especially if they are digging through things that have happened to them before, and then you actually essentially putting it out to the entire world. So maybe there are things that you're, you know, but there are people who are really honest. You know, when I read a book, they just share anything, really. And then there are times that people only learn about uh, that happened to them uh, by reading that book. So I think. It twofold. Do you get that a lot of people, are, you know, when they dig deeper, they they <laughs> they found something that deep inside them that you know they actually didn't know about before? 
Well, you know, I'm at, people have said to me, oh, you're like helping me birth something because it is like a birthing process. They are putting out into the world something they've usually held maybe only to themselves for a really long time. Yeah. I've been called a book therapist because, you know, I do sit and listen to a lot of, you know, stories that people have never told anyone before. Mm -hmm, I'm sure. And I remind them that writing a book is a multi draft process. So you don't have to make decisions in the first draft. Like sometimes I'll get, well, I can't write about that because what will my brother say? Or I don't want to hurt my mother's feelings or whatever. And I always say, we are not publishing tomorrow. This is not going off the press tomorrow, but you mm. do need to get it out, which is why it's called the story inside. You need to get it out so then we can shape and form what's really going to be relevant. And I always say to people, you're not ultimately writing the book for you. I know it feels like it is for you and we will go through that process for you. But at the end of the day, you need to be on the other side of that material so you can emotionally deliver to the reader. Have you ever read those books where you feel like, my God, they just like emotionally dumped all over me. And I just feel, you feel like, Ugh, I got nothing out of this. <laughs> That's what we want to try to avoid is mm -hmm. that the reader walks away and feels like, yeah, like they got vulnerable, but they kind of did that for me. Like I have something that I can feel like I can relate to from that. And that's a very specific skill to hone in on. And I help writers to do that. Okay. Wow. It's a lot to think about. I'm, I'm sure that this, once they go deep, it's, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy. And also there's, there's sort of like, you know, we had talked about, and I know we're going to talk about this at another point in one of your business events, but you know, when you write a book, you're also making a commitment to take it in the long run. And mm -hmm. you have to be ready to put your book out there, be a face on your book. Authors can't hide anymore, you know, in the barn with the typewriter. They have to be out there and 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 promoting what it is that they stand behind. So I think an author also now has to have almost like a celeb a little bit of a celebrity mindset. Like I'm willing to go out there and put my face on this book and make videos and and talk about it and have an Instagram account and be out there. And so it's it's having that energy and that drive to do that. Some people don't want that. They just want to write the book as a legacy piece mm. and they want to see and they want to. It's a bucket list. It's a bucket list. And you know what? That's OK, too. Well, I think as a, as a marketer, I deal with a lot of marketing people are like writing a book is the perfect to set you up, like you said, for uh, online social media, for in-person live event, for conferences, you know, you could get to speak to a, a big group of people, your target audience. Mm -hmm. uh, so I could see a lot of opportunity with that book building around the book. So, uh, you know, for those out there, like you said, who've been told that you should write a book about that. What should they do? What should they figure out before working with a coach like yourself? Like, what should they get through? Be you know to to put the mindset. Of, this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it. Well, you know, I've been doing this for uh, this particular coaching business for about five years, and over that time, I've developed all sorts of little free start you off. Uh, programs that can help people get clarity. And one of those is called Activate Your Story. Um, okay. And it's on my YouTube page, uh, my Story Inside YouTube page. And that's a 30 minute, really great, make you really think about what you're writing your story about. And I always say to people, if you're on the fence, do that for 30 minutes, do some writing and get clear. You don't have to know everything you want to write about. You just have to have the desire that you want to write a book. And then I can help you outline and handle the rest. You know, I also have my podcast that I started this year called You Should Write a Book About That, talking mm -hmm. to fascinating people about their lives and asking them, so why haven't you written a book? And that yeah. helps people to hear that and see that they're not alone. Sometimes we just need to know we're not alone and we're not unusual or strange and that gives us the power to move forward and do what we've always wanted to do great thank you so much for the information kim i i do see the value in that you know if your time commitment but then the benefit i could see a lot of potential opportunities by writing a book mm -hmm. uh, so thank you so much for uh today i'll include your information uh in the comment box and if any viewer would like to reach out to kim uh go to a story inside or uh, you know, check out one of our podcasts and YouTube video. Thank you, yeah. Kim.
Thank you so much. Bye.